Australians are now facing a shortage in some vegetables. With lettuce so scarce, KFC is now using cabbage. It's the grocery staple being crossed off shopping lists as the price of an iceberg lettuce closes in on $9. $12 for one iceberg lettuce. Welcome back to Hucho's. In this very special edition of Hucho's, we're going to have a look at the skyrocketing price of lettuce and how I can use this crisis to push my agenda of hydroponics. But in all seriousness, this crisis is actually the perfect example of why now is the right time to start practicing hydroponics at home. So in this video, I want to explain why the price of lettuce and other vegetable crops are going up. And I want to show you why it doesn't affect us homegrown hydroponics growers as much as it does the large farmers and corporations that we generally source all of our food from. So first of all, I'm going to start with the hyper-local conditions. Here in South East Queensland, we've been hit with an unusually wet winter. The La Nina has affected the Indian Ocean in such a way that we've been getting a ton of wet weather events causing flooding throughout South East Queensland and the whole eastern seaboard of Australia. This wet weather was immediately followed by freezing temperatures, meaning that the last crop was unharvestable and the next crop to go in found the ground too wet and too cold to properly grow. This means that two entire harvests were wiped out completely. Unfortunately, this isn't the only factor that is causing the price rises. Fertilizer costs have almost doubled in the past year, and this has been discussed in the Huchos community on the Facebook group, because people are wondering the quoted prices that I've been giving for fertilizers and why they're really only half of what is right now. And I've been seeing it myself, the fertilizer cost has gone from about $100 to almost $170, $180, $200 in some cases for the bulk fertilizer that I use. Now this is a topic I'll get to discussing a little later in the video and explaining why it doesn't affect us home growers as much as the big boys. But the big boys are also dealing with raises in fuel costs and plastic packaging costs. Now, these all stem from pretty much the same place. It is the conflict over in Europe and the fact that Russia controls most of the natural gas supply. Even though the Netherlands is responsible for a lot of fertilizer production, they pump their natural gas from Russia cheaply. And this means that a lot of fertilizer production just isn't happening because it is not financially feasible. Fuel and plastic packaging both come from the same crude oil source, which has also exploded in price. And all of these factors combining together in a perfect storm is the resulting price that we see in the supermarket today. Hooch, I hear you say, you've got me in existential crisis mode. What can I do about it? Well, have I got some answers for you. Three words, hydroponics at home. So in this next section, I'm gonna show you why all the factors like the weather, the fuel costs, the packaging costs, and even the fertilizer costs don't particularly affect us in the same extremes that they do for large corporations and growers. Now, obviously the fuel and the packaging aren't going to affect us because we're picking straight from our hydroponic garden and eating it locally. And it tastes better. But what about the fertilizer costs? So in a recent video that I did, breaking down the cost of hydroponics, we broke down all of the components as well as the water, fertilizer costs, and growing media costs into manageable chunks which we then extrapolated out the cost of a single head of lettuce. Now in that video, I was working on fertilizer costs from six months to a year ago. So we extrapolated out and figured that 
one head of lettuce would cost 2.5 cents to produce. A fully grown lettuce right now, if you bought your fertilizer at double the price, which it's not, it's at about 1.5 times the price, would cost five cents per head. Now, I've seen lettuces going for $5.50 a head, and I've seen people reporting that, that they have actually seen lettuce upwards of 10 to $12 per head. Now, I don't understand why anyone would pay that for a lettuce, but those numbers are being reported. And this is where hydroponics at home has its advantages. Even if our fertilizer got to 10 times the original cost per unit, we would still only be paying 25 cents per head of lettuce. Now, I would much rather be paying 25 cents per head of lettuce than even $5.50, which I've seen in supermarkets myself. And this doesn't even take into account the fact that if our fertilizer costs rise by 10 times, the fuel and packaging costs that large companies producing hectares and hectares of lettuce are also going to raise by 10 because the root source of fertilizer, fuel, and packaging are all petrochemical sourced from places in the world that are extremely unstable at the moment. So what can you do about it? Well, you can start growing it at home. Now, this is a large setup. This is called a nutrient film technique hydroponic system. And I do have a video on how to build it. I would highly recommend building it if you do have this much space but you might not have this much space. I recently went to my mate Danny's house and built him a smaller version of this system. And the results were fantastic. He is a really lazy vegetarian, so he'll sneak in some fish as well. But he's been reporting to me that he saved a ton of money on lettuce since I built him that system. In fact, he's been sending me pictures of the prices of lettuce because uh, it's just that ridiculous and he's stoked with the system. You can find that video here and I am happy to recommend that system for small areas if you do not have the space to build a full-sized system. These are both powered techniques where you require a reservoir and a pump so that you can circulate water and nutrients through the system and gravity feed back to your res. If you do not have power in the site that you want to grow your lettuce, there is another technique called the Kratky technique. Now, the Kratky technique is a passive set and forget hydroponic system, which you can utilize to grow lettuce and greens in a container with net cups and next to no media. This only requires you to mix up the hydroponic nutrient, put the lettuce into the system and the lettuce will take care of themselves. The beauty of both of these systems is that you can run them inside under a grow light or in a closed environment like this. This allows you to escape the rainy conditions and freezing temperatures that have plagued the Southeast Queensland farmers for the last few months. Now there are of course many other hydroponic systems and most of which we cover here on my channel. But I've only highlighted those two techniques because I feel like they are the most accessible with the crack kick technique and the most productive with the nutrient film technique, hydroponic systems that you can use for the production of lettuce at home. Other techniques include your Dutch bucket systems and rain gutter grow systems. However, I would recommend that you use these for fruiting and flowering plants, although you can use them for lettuce and greens if you already have those systems. There is absolutely no reason that these systems cannot be utilized for lettuce and if you have them already and want to reduce the cost at the supermarket, you could plant out buckets like these with multiple lettuces and they would work absolutely fine. Another technique is the flood and drain method. 
Really, lettuce will grow in any hydroponic system you can think of. It's just up to what is most available to you in your area for the best price. It's really interesting that when large corporations like KFC can't get their hands on enough lettuce, that I have a table full of lettuce growing and an abundance on my hands. And I have been experiencing the same floods and the same weather events that all of Southeast Queensland has been experiencing when my lettuce look like this. I almost feel guilty for having so much lettuce and I won't be taking advantage of that monetarily. I'll be giving it away to friends and family who don't have access to cheap lettuce. And that is one of the beauties of homegrown hydroponics. You end up with an abundance of food and that is all that anyone can ask from a growing method. I am super stoked with all of my hydroponic systems. I am especially stoked with my nutrient film technique. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm going to leave links to my favorite ways of growing lettuce that I've done in videos so that you can check those out and perhaps implement them so that you can also have an abundance of lettuce in this extremely dire time of lettuce rarity. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hucho's. Happy hydroponicking, and I'll see you next time, hopefully with more lettuce. <laughs>